Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the Canadian Minister of Veterans Affairs was made aware of this commemoration that's happening over the course of this, uh, this weekend, and he wrote a letter. The letter itself is uh, in Norwegian, and I have passed that on, but I have been asked to read the English version of the letter, which I will do now. From the Minister of Veterans Affairs and Associate Minister of National Defence. One of my most important duties as Canadian Minister of Veterans Affairs is commemoration. We must never forget the tremendous sacrifices and contributions made by those who selflessly served their country to defend peace. We must also remember the thousands of civilian men and women who, although they did not wear a uniform, played an essential role in the defeat of tyranny. The Jossing, Jossings, or Norwegian Patriots, are an outstanding example of this. At great peril to themselves, they resisted the enemy and aided the Allies during the brutal occupation of Norway by Nazi Germany. On 26 September 1944, a Canadian aircrew was forced to make a hard landing near Oss. After they emerged from their damaged Wellington plane, the six airmen found a group of locals willing to harbour them, despite the fact that the occupying forces had ordered immediately to shoot any Allied personnel they discovered, as well as to execute residents who helped them. For two weeks, the Norwegians sheltered and fed the Canadians, moved them from place to place to avoid detection by the enemy. Finally, on the night of October 11th, 12th, the Canadians were taken back to Scotland via the Shetland bus, a secret connection by sea between British military intelligence and the Norwegian resistance. Remarkably, the full crew of six stayed together after being forced down behind enemy lines and successfully returned to Britain, a rare achievement in wartime. Canada shall remember forever will remain forever grateful to the Norwegian people who put themselves in harm's way to assist our servicemen. I thank all those gathered here today, in particular the families of the Canadian aircrew and the courageous Norwegians who rescued them, for keeping the legacy of the Jossingser alive for future generations. The Honourable Lawrence Macaulay. Thank you.